Hi guys, this is Lordy. Uh, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about today and um, the vibration I've been having on the steering wheel. It's been causing me issues of driving has just been a nightmare i mean like there's been a couple of days i've like well, i'm fed up with this car that's it i i've had enough of it i'm selling it um i recently got the tires changed to pilot sport fours um you know a great tire and um but we had the balancing done and um i just couldn't work out what the hell was going on it's really it was really annoying me we even had it tracked and everything was was looking fine on the car so after about a week of driving around i was getting frustrated um so i ended up going back to the guys uh pro tires over in enfield a great setup down there and um guys are really helpful um i love the fact that the whole area is open and wide and you know cars are going to be looked after you go to a few garages local garages and you know you can hardly get your car in you know you're going to come out with scratches all over the place or dents so i like the setup down there i've been using them for a while um so i ended up going back down there and asking them to check the front tire see if um something's the the weight's fallen off um maybe that's throwing the the throwing the tires out which is obviously causing the vibration so um basically i'm going to show you a few clips of the guys doing some work on the car and i'll be back in a mo So as you've just seen on the clips, um, you probably saw the rear tire. Uh, one of the rear tires was absolutely shot. Uh, it was wearing on the inside of the tire on the passenger rear. Um, it was all in an awful state. In fact, it was almost to a point where um, the wires were coming through. Uh, it was dangerous. I mean, I can't believe I've been driving around like that for a while with the kids in the car. I mean, it's been a night, you know, that's a nightmare. So. I got those changed as well. Uh, upgraded those to the same tyre. We've now got four brand new tyres and we did the balancing on all the wheels. The driver's side front was out. It, it, it hadn't been balanced properly or, or whatever. Maybe um, the weight had fallen off. So um, I stood there. We checked everything. 
great guys, you know, I can stand around, check the car out at the same time. So everything balanced, all the wheels I know are completely balanced. Um, we put it on the tracking machine again, and um, again, everything in the green seems bang on. Um, so I took the car out, my steering wheel slightly to the left, it's pulling now, and um, but the vibration is gone. So my vibration situation was just simply um, the tyre hadn't been balanced properly. So great outcome, vibration stopped. Car's now pulling, um, which is, you know guys, when you're driving your car, anything starts pulling around, you're wobbling on the road. I mean, it drives you nuts. It, it's been driving me nuts. So this leads me on to the second part of this video. I decided this morning just to, you know, I couldn't take it anymore. Um, so I took it into Tire Pro um, in Hartford. Um, as I walked into the the office, I noticed that they had uh, obviously the latest machine called a Hawk, uh, Hawk Isle, Hawk machine. Um, I've had the car tracked with that before and I know that it's a brilliant machine. Um, no disrespect to the guys over at uh, Pro Tires. Um, obviously they use their machines and they, you know, it's, it's fine. Absolutely. Um, I've always had a problem ever since I own this car that it seems to have just pulled around all over the road. Um, so they were happy to get the car in, get it on the machine and check to see what, what's going on basically. Um, so we got it up on the ramp, checked it out, and it turns out the rear was out quite badly. Um, it doesn't look like they've, anybody's actually moved the rears for some time. They were seized. I mean, they were all gunked up. So, um, to my relief in some respect, that basically I let them do the job. You know, we could see it was out. Um, so the guys basically whacked it on the ramp and we got all the tracking done. Um, at the same time, checked all the bushes. So, um, I've just watched a video of, uh, uh of another, uh, YouTuber with, with a similar issue and, um, they've looked at the wishbone bushes, which is something I actually thought was going to be uh, the problem on this car. But we've looked at all the bushes and nothing seems to be moving around. In fact, this machine actually indicates if the bushes are not in great condition, that would obviously um, come up as well. So um, no bush problem. Um, I am thinking about going down down the Powerflex route. I think that's a real, that's probably a good sensible idea, strengthen up the steering and the car itself. Um, I'm even thinking about going down the route of changing the suspension. I haven't done that yet. It's lowered on H&R Springs, um, but I'm thinking to upgrade the standard suspension to probably Pro uh, Coney's. I'm looking at the Coney's, the Coney Yellow Sports. I'm wondering whether that's good, a good shout. Uh, I love your comments down below whether you guys have um, put any Coney's on before. Um, I'm even looking at the FSDs, the um, sort of electronic ones. Um, I'm wondering whether that's a shout. Although I, a few people have said that that could be, it's a nicer ride, but it doesn't handle as well as the, the sports. So um, I love your feedback down below. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm rambling on. Um,
Now I'ma say this one time for your next one. Work your rock shot, then I'll fire you through the hand and burn.